Hello and welcome to the Jonathan Acuna podcast. Today, I'm excited to talk about how to build a digital assistant. These are my three pro tips. Let's get started. What is a digital assistant? Let's just start there. Like we live in this whole world with apps and phones and technology and software, but like what is a digital assistant? For me, a digital assistant is a way for me to quickly offload or send tasks, commands, reminders, notes, anything that I'm like, hey, I wish I remember this, or that should be a task, or I should put that on my calendar. All that that you would give to a personal assistant, personal assistants are expensive. So we have to build a digital assist assistant. Um, and so those three apps, Siri, Siri is gonna help you. Siri is like your, your communication pipeline. Um, Siri is gonna be the one that's gonna listen and then put that information in the right place. So she's always listening and then she knows exactly where to put things because you're only gonna give her three different things. Um, that's the great thing about it. So the first one is gonna be some tasks or project and I'm gonna be completely honest. I did not know that you can use ClickUp with Siri. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's why I was like, yo, we have to do this episode now. It's this game over now. Um, because you can give, you can say, because I don't want to say, um, hey, Siri, for the rest of this episode, we're going to call her, hey, Sally. How's that sound? That way we could get through this episode and we don't activate the billions of Sally's around the world. And <laughs> I could do some crazy stuff. <laughs> but no, no, no. So, first one building a digital brain and then siri is going to be your communication pipeline you're going to say hey siri or hey sally add two reminders or okay so let's start this off so tasks and projects that's going to be in ClickUp. ClickUp, all these have a free plan too you could use the free plan in ClickUp to do all of this which is great um and then that's going to be for everything tasks and projects and then we're going to talk about meetings you need one master calendar that could be your google calendar that syncs with your gmail it's free and then you can put on top of it i highly recommend um you could use a software called calendly c-a-l-e-n-d-l-y calendly um their free tier allows you to sync your calendar with one event and this event is like think of it like business hours for you you can hand this link to someone and they get to see your business hours that you want them to book on your calendar and then it even looks at your calendar and says whoa, whoa whoa before i show this guy that you want to uh, book on your appointment i'm going to look at your calendar see what your availability is and then i'll show them their availability like that's amazing you'd be amazed at how many small business owners are really just doing all the scheduling and reminding by themselves we live in an age where you have calendly or these apps that are free even their paid tiers like i think it's like 10 bucks a month or something like that's where you could do a bunch of events and stuff but that allows you so that you're not if you ever have to do scheduling with another person how what's your availability are you free at this time and if doing it by email is a nightmare no wonder most people don't get hooked up together like we want to make sure your calendars are sync um and so that's a great way where you can quickly um that along with your google calendar is going to be like super powerful um and then the third app is going to be like reminders reminders is great for like um ad hoc tasks or tasks that's like random throughout the day I've bucketed down to three. It's either a reminder, just a thought, something that's interesting, something to look later, um, or it's a um, something for the, gr I use grocery list in there. I'm like, hey, hey Sally, uh, add a grocery list. I'm out of blueberries or something like that. So I need them for my shakes. Or say for example, um, um, oh, the other one is for shopping. So if I need to add something to the shopping list, I'll be like, hey Sally, add, um, new AirPods to the shopping list or something like that. And then it will add it to the list. So then only like once a week, I go to those lists and I'm like, okay, what do I need to add for groceries? What do I need to buy for shopping, whatever? And then the list is already curated for me. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Boom, 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 boom. And it just makes life so much easier because usually when you're busy and you get these thoughts randomly throughout the day. So you're washing your hands, you're really like, for me, I'm shaving. And then I get this thought, I'm like, oh, I should probably add that task. I'm like, um, uh can't exactly write this down now thanks brain for telling me this at the right moment so how are we going to make this easier so that's why i've i've break i've hacked this process so much like i've obsessed over this process and so that way that way i just have to be in the same room as sally and then i'll be like hey sally add two reminders to call back bob at 6 p.m and then boom it's on my calendar or i could be like hey sally add to calendar uh friday at 3 p.m schedule meeting with bob boom it's on my calendar and I'm still shaving like <laughs> that's what <laughs> that's amazing. I just find that anytime you, you can use voice controls um, as like 
as you're so this is a side tangent how i think like technology is going everything's going to be voice commands like i've completely set up my life so everything's mostly voice controlled and that's been a game changer as far as automation speed skill life hack like oh my god and so like i've tried google i tried other voice commands i've tried other apps and none of them work because i'm trying to build a whole workflow ecosystem like so that's why it's not like an apple versus like um google thing or like android versus apple there's none of that pick the right tool that works in your workflow that helps you 10x your productivity and if it works great that's the reason why i choose these tools because I don't let the tools don't become in the way where I'm like, oh my God, I gotta write this down on my notes. I gotta find the one app and I'm, I'm like, no, no, no. Or, oh my God, it didn't even get all the text right. Or, oh my God, this is not reliable. It's so amazing when I have headphones on and just like cranking workouts. It's just so awesome. So that's pro tip number one. That was a lot for the one for number one. And let's summarize. You need three, three apps to build your digital brain uh, in order to put all the information that you're going to give to your digital assistant and then your future virtual assistant, that's what you need these three things for. First one is ClickUp for all tasks and project management. Second one's gonna be a Google Calendar uh, for all your meetings. And then bonus if you wanna add it add with Calendly. And then third one's gonna be Reminders. And then you have Siri. Uh, those are the main apps that you're gonna be using day in, day out, all the time, moving things, information in and out, events, calendars, bookings, bam. So let's move on to pro tip number two, and that's gonna be Quick Capture. And kind of really talked about it already. But that's just using Siri. Siri, you're going to be using it for commands. You're going to be like, hey, Sally, add new task to personal list in ClickUp. And then Siri goes, finds your personal list amongst all your list in ClickUp. That amazed me when I first did it. I was like, wait, how'd you find that one list that's called, per what? <laughs> that's what? <laughs> I, I was testing it out. I was amazed. I was like, this is superpowers. Now I can add tasks to any list in ClickUp. Mm, even the content ideas. Oh, I just thought of that right now. I can add content because I have my content calendar in, in ClickUp. So that that gives me so much ideas that I could just like uh, have a content idea for a piece of content. And then I could say that to Sally. Ideas, ideas. So that's what we're going to use uh, Sally for ClickUp for commands. Then we're going to use um, uh, Hey Sally for reminders. So you'll be like, Hey Sally, add to reminders. And then also the last one is going to be uh, for appointments. So this is where you're gonna be like, hey, Sally, um, add to your calendar. And this is like, hey, Sally, add to calendar on Friday at 2 p.m. Or hey, Sally, add to calendar uh, meeting at 3 p.m. with whatever, stuff like that. So that's really uh, the three commands that you're gonna be using to quickly quickly give tasks from your brain to um, your, person, your digital assistant. Um, so new task is gonna go to ClickUp. Reminders is going to use uh, the Reminders app. Uh, and then for appointments, it's going to go straight to Google Calendar. So you just say add to calendar. And then pro tip number three. This one's the, the best. Okay. So you've done all this work. Yeah, this great idea. You gave it to your digital assistant. Now what do you do with it? It's in one of those lists. It's in tasks. It's on your calendar. Um, or it's in Reminders. This is what you want to do. You want once a day, move everything into a task like if it has to get done if it's something to get done move it from um, reminders or if it's already in ClickUp, schedule it uh with the re with uh details uh and then when it schedule it when it needs to get done you want everything to be in some task manager because this is how you're really going to go from solopreneur to <laughs> delegation and having a team um or from small team to building an even larger team um so once you have all your tasks in like click up then Everything in there is done. Next, it gets scheduled. And then this one's really important. You have to write out the SOP or the training guide to how to do that task. Because when you start hiring on your virtual assistant or other assistants or other team members, um, you're going to need to offload all that knowledge, um, expertise in your head, how to do stuff, um, the step-by-step -step processes, all those details. You need to offload that in an SOP, a document that has step one, do this, step two, do this do this go get the file it's over here and then you have your training video now with the power of like ClickUp, you can now assign that task to your team member that is now delegation now that ta that thought of that new task went from your brain to your digital assistant into your task manager now it also it has beefed up with like your sop and training material now that's ready to get assigned to your your assistant or your virtual assistant or another person on your team and they can just execute on it and you didn't have to do it.
that's like what like that's like more productivity power is all about building a team that's really what leadership's about it's like building a team and then empowering them with like superpowers um i love this but i want to end with a quote i love quotes um this quote has always like stayed with me it's like why geek out about this stuff and it's what you learn today will always benefit your life tomorrow and what that meant to me too was that no matter what I'm learning, I'm always trying to learn. Like, I mean, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a hustler, if you're ambitious, um, you you're you have the student mindset. You're always curious and you're always wondering how do things work? How can you do things better? How can I take this apart to see how it works to make it better or improve it? Um, and for me, I know that every day as I'm learning something new, that knowledge or that new insight, this all of this is just awareness, just to show you what's possible now to teach you or show you a new um, possibility, a new a new perception to your world. So that you'd be like, hey, wait, I used to do things this way, but I think there's a better way. And that's what it's about in life in the sense that you're just pretty much just taking one little stone off the road for other people to travel more smoother down the road. Um, but yeah, that's why I love learning. But I love sharing this. This has been uh, How to Build a Digital Assistant. Three pro tips. If you found this valuable, please share this with that nerdy friend that like geeks out about this stuff, that all is about productivity hacks like me. But I, I love talking about this. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. I'm Jonathan Acuna. I will see you in the next episode.